Okay, I'm going to try to get uh, to talk over the top of the air conditioner. Uh, I'm in Phoenix, as you probably know, Arizona toy train repair. Right now it's about 109 degrees outside. In here, my trains enjoy a temperature of about 75 degrees all year round, which is why I don't need to repair them constantly. Anyway, uh, this is Christine Roberts, who, uh, 2046. It had been subject to a little home repair work, and, and when I took it out of the box, uh, the entire insides of the E unit fell out into my hand. It was uh, apparently put together, but because the E unit was a little loose, it wouldn't hold. And so I had to completely take it apart, put new pieces in and reassemble it. Works fine now. Everything works very well. And you can see um, that it smokes. I didn't need to replace the smoke unit, but I did have to completely rebuild the E unit. I also had to rewire the tender, which is normal after all these years. So you can see it goes backwards and forwards just fine. Whistles just fine. Let's do this. So the E unit's cycling fine. Now I'm just going to take it off. I'm just going to disconnect the E unit so we can see how the train runs. I've got it attached to yeah, about five fairly heavy O-gauge cars, a horse car, a dump car, a log car. So it's pulling a bit of a load because I want it to smoke. So well, here we go. Turn on some lights too. See, it's doing a real good job. There's no problem pulling. I'm not even close to full voltage. This apparently hasn't been run for about 35 years or so. So they should be very happy with how it works now. Lionels are made to last, but there's no exception. And it's smoking well. It's maybe a little hard to see. Let's speed it up a little bit. This is Chris Roberts, uh, 2046 Lionel and Tender, 2046W Tender, working perfectly and ready to send back. Courtesy of Arizona Toy Train Repair. And that's it.